Man, they say you live and learn. That's really like one of the big mottos here on my channel because I always seem to do that or not do that. <laughs> And just recently, I just had a go around with the Mustang here in another live and learn situation, but I had my reasons why and I knew better from the start. So let me explain. All right, so it's, it's obviously winter here in Maryland and between it being cold and just nasty weather, it's really hard a lot of times to be able to have the opportunity to clean the cars. And you want to clean the car, right? Because you got snow and all kinds of other stuff. And it lays salt down on the roads. And it's just, it, it, these get, everything gets nasty. I mean, really bad. Well, you know, to try to keep up with that, not being able to use the hose from the house because it's been freezing and whatnot, generally, the only other thing you can do is utilize a car wash. Now, there's been one car wash in particular I've been using for many years now. And it's not a touchless one. It's, it's you know, they had the brushes they have microfiber um, brushes and stuff that is on the machines not like them weird flappy plastic whatever the hell I don't even know what they are that you see on a lot they actually used really nice microfiber stuff um, and for the longest time I've never had a problem now see this time of the year I generally take a lot of caution when using car wash mainly because everyone else is going to be using that same car wash their cars are going to be filthy there's just going to be a lot of buildup of debris that, that, that's going through the car wash and it's usually very very busy this time of year because everyone's trying to get the salt and stuff off their cars and that just increases the risk of having something get caught up in those brushes and scratching your car well like i said i haven't had a problem and in fact generally i would do this myself if it wasn't so cold i mean i've invested so much money in detailing stuff so i could do this myself i don't have to go to the car wash and but this is one of those times where you have to use it if you want you know if you want to take care of your car so in the grand scheme of things i thought i was doing myself a favor well, you know, I got out of the car wash, I pull around, it's got, the, you know, the vacuums and everything, they give you complimentary rags and, and spray to wipe down certain parts if you want. Um, so I went around and I wiped down all the car, you know, went, tried to touch up some of the things, I actually grabbed some rags that I had and some uh, Chemical Guys quick detailer, just to get up any water spots and it, it was looking good, it was looking great. And, uh, you know, didn't notice anything. I'm like, all right, you know, it's the normal amount of like surface scratches you get from just dust and debris hitting the car and whatnot, but all that stuff just comes out with a light polish and or, you know, put like some type of glaze or sealer, it covers them up. You know, there's nothing crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, I got the car back and I wanted to kind of clean the interior a little bit more. So I was uh, over here, I had this door open and I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. I saw this on the rear quarter panel. I'm like, what is that? And I noticed because the way the sun was, the light was hitting, I could see it perfectly. And it was this scratch. It was right here. It was this really long scratch going this way. They were all horizontal, by the way. Scratch going this way. And I looked down, I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So I get down here and I'm looking, I'm like, I see another one. And I see another one. And I see another one. And the whole quarter panel was scratched. I'm like, no, no. So I went ahead and grabbed some polishing compound and other things. I went and tried to do this by hand because they looked like they were just really light surface scratches. And I was able to get some of them out, but some of them stayed. I'm like, crap, this means they're a little bit deeper than I thought. So, you know, I'm like, all right, you know what? I did a little bit more. I went over it again. I'm like, that's fine. They're good enough. They're not going to bother me. And then I go over here. I'm like, well, let me just make sure. I look on the door, sure enough, all the way down the door, all the way down. It was about to about right here. This is where you wouldn't see them. So it was basically this up all the way back. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So then I even went up to the front fender here. And I'm sure enough, the same thing all along the fender, all the way up until about right here. It was the same amount of scratches. So I was very upset. Now I knew exactly what happened. See the type of car wash I use, they have a few different stages with different type of rollers and brushes and stuff. So one of the first stages you go through, which is ultimately one of the first stages that's gonna get 
a lot of debris and stuff is a uh, side rollers. So they have, you know, two big rollers that go on either side and they spin around and clean the sides. Well, evidently the roller that did the passenger side had something in it and that had to have been what did it because the pat driver's side actually wasn't bad. Like I said, nothing more than I usually would see. This side got really screwed up. So that must have meant that something was in that brush. But thankfully, since I do have all of that detailing equipment and it was actually a nice day yesterday, I went ahead and took the uh, polishing machine and I just did this whole side of the car and uh, got all of those scratches out thankfully and i went ahead and reapplied some uh, ceramic coating because you know usually when you polish you'll take that stuff right off and as you can see nice water beading beautiful finish this whole side of the car actually the whole car really needs to be redone but uh yeah i mean i was not expecting to have to do that I was really hoping just to clean the interior, <laughs> but no, I had to basically do a paint correction on this whole side of the car because of that. Now, I know like, well, you just don't use those kind of car washes. I get it. I know. Honestly, in this area, there's really not many great options for car washes and the touchless ones, uh, they're not great either. They don't even really do anything. So it's like, what do you do? You can't wash it at home. You want to keep up with it. And, but then if you take it to a car wash, you risk that happening so it's kind of a crappy situation and yeah i mean you know it you live and learn like i don't know now having that happen to my car like like i said it was fine up until this moment now i think i'd be really hesitant to ever go back through that car wash i feel like you know this is kind of like the the moral of the story here is you know just be careful when you you do that i mean i'm pretty sure that's kind of already implied <laughs> but uh eh, it is what it is it's all fixed, so I guess at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. It's not like it actually took paint off or anything, because that would be really bad. It's nothing that wasn't fixable. I guess that's the important thing. And now, you know, at least the car is clean. It looks good, and, you know, and the underside's clean. There ain't no dirt and debris on it. So that's, uh, I guess that's the important part, right? <laughs> nah. Anyway, I had this little story here I thought I would share, but it, that will be it for this video. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for the next two car to this video.